Yay. Oh, thank you. Say it back. Oh, thanks, those of you who are listening. Uh, my name's actually Martin J. Dixon. The J stands for just really good at sex. <laughs> it, could be, it could be true. That was nasty. <laughs> Glad you don't have a card. <laughs> um, uh, it's a really creepy thing my parents named me. <laughs> I was just a child. How did they know? <laughs> It's true. Um, I, I actually, it comes from the Latin, just okay at sex, which does feel better. Less pressure, <laughs> uh, which I prefer. What else should I tell you guys about me? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm gay. Thank you. An ally, just to, to everyone else. <laughs> it's quite homophobic, actually. Uh, I don't want to come across as arrogant. I don't want to seem full of myself, but I'm actually what's known as a platinum gay. Um, I was born via cesarean, so I'm not touching vagina. <laughs> Not even once, by accident. <laughs> Thank you. Um, which actually is a really weird badge of honor. I don't know if I love that, because, uh, because gynecology is like a hobby of mine. Um, <laughs> just fr from a distance, uh, obviously. I will actually be offering smears after the show. Um, <laughs> uh, we have to give up the room, but there's an alleyway. Um, <laughs> No one's that sold. Uh, I also don't work for the NHS, but I do have 17, no, 19 years now of uh, medical training uh, from watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar. Um, I, uh, I've been dumped. I was dumped. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that feels right. Uh, it was uh, about three years ago. I'm kind of over it. Um, I don't even think about it anymore. Um, <laughs> He was the love of my life, and then he moved to Germany. Uh, it's fine. It was at the beginning of the pandemic, and you know, weirdly, uh, during the pandemic, when we think, when, you know, sorry, when things go badly in London, we sometimes talk about like a blitz spirit. I don't. I'm normal, uh, but some people do. Uh, and it was a really weird time, and everyone was, like, you know, blitz spirit, and, and I was like, <laughs> "That's a ghost, wasn't it? Sh should I go?" <laughs> That's what my boyfriend did, just turn the lights out <laughs> and move to Germany. It was heartbreaking. Um, are you guys in on it? I don't <laughs> uh, but it was weird uh, because everyone, you know, bit spirit. And, and I was quite up for it. I was like, yeah, let's blo bomb Germany. <laughs> like, not the whole place, like, I'm a good person, but just like one specific address. <laughs> But I'm over it now. I never talk about it. Um, I had another boyfriend since then. He was the best sex I've ever had, and then God took him from me. Uh, oh no, it's just that he's really religious and he dumped me. Uh, and I tried to explain to him that um, I, I'm very religious. I'm very spiritual. I've been terms of religious. I'm very spiritual. If like the Pope and the Dalai Lama, if they left kids alone, I'm that spiritual. That's how spiritual I am. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and I watched Eat, Pray, Love with Julia Roberts. I don't know if you're familiar. Thank you. I'm a Julia's fan. Uh, well, as Julia teaches us, uh, God lives in you as you. And I was trying to explain this to my ex-boyfriend. I was like, when you're going down on me, you're going down on God. <laughs> and he was like, please stop texting me. <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, I hurt my feelings, but I'm fine now, over it. I've done lots of stuff to get over it, listen to a lot of Taylor Swift, not a joke, just uh, <laughs> legit how I feel. Uh, I also did some other stuff, I had a, a fuck it list, because I'm cool. Um, it's like a bucket list, but for legends. <laughs> You guys don't seem that sold. Uh, on my list was uh, paddle boarding. Uh, I don't have a joke about that. I just am um, really good at it. Uh, <laughs> I've only been twice, but it was worth it. Um, also, I wanted to be spit roasted. That was on my list. Um, <laughs> not to upset anyone. <laughs> if you're not familiar with spit roasting, if you imagine... <laughs> you should just, goog just Google it. Just Google it. <laughs> Ask your parents. Um, <laughs> The thing is, actually, when you're that full of, um, of cock, uh, <laughs> it's really hard to hear the crying in your heart. So that's, that was great. <laughs> Worked really well. Uh, but I'm out there. I'm trying to find a man uh, naturally. I, do, I did gay five-a-side football, if anyone's familiar. <laughs> it's very much like straight five-a-side football, but um, at the end, w in the showers, it's quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's go, boys. <laughs> And they're like, these aren't showers, this is just a pub, leave. <laughs> just spritzing myself the Lucas Aid. <laughs> Topless. Um, <laughs> I also did a gay movie club. Uh, for, it was for gay bears. If you're not familiar with a gay bear, sort of this, but butcher. Uh, um, uh, and I was asked to stop coming to the, the movie club, actually, because I kept taking my bottoms off. Um, but that was more popcorn related. I like a big bucket. Uh, <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Um, what else is on my list? Uh, to fall in love again. That was... Uh, Working. Thank you. I'm still working on it. I'm fine. 
I'm fine. Uh, what else is on my list? Uh, spit race. Oh, to go to a gay sauna. Again, I don't know if anyone's familiar with gay saunas. Oh, where are the like, just the t- oh that was not <laughs> homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> At the gay sauna, they eat my shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 